So this video is just completely random and I'm, I think I've been doing these random late night videos because why not? Mostly, it's mostly gone under the why not category um, and also changing my sheets right now, uh, cleaning my sheets right now, so yeah. But that's not important. What is important is this video and basically what this is going to be is me talking about like random ship, I, like ship head cannons I have for the respective ships I have in my shipping fleet. So, yeah, these are just fun ideas, nothing serious. I'm not here to, like, shit on anyone's ship or whatever. I'm just here to talk about some fun head cannons I have for my ships and sometimes in, put a little bit of in the stories I write. So, um, also, some of these might be a little spicy. Just saying right now, some of these might be just a tad spicy. So, if you're not cool with that, feel free to leave. I'm not forcing you to stay, but I'm sure some of you guys will be like, oh, this will be so cool. I I, I want to see where this goes. Um, anyway, so let's get started with our uh, first one, and that is uh, Repton and Starling from Stormhawks. I haven't really... It's come to my attention that I, have, I haven't talked about Stormhawks in a long time. Like, it has been a hot minute since I have talked about Stormhawks, and I'm surprised in myself that I haven't really, you know, given a lot of talk about Stormhawks in a while. So, Repton and Starling, one of the major headcanons I have, um, one of the major headcanons I have is that um, Repton and Starling are into BDSM. Um, mostly because Repton, like, has so much pressure in his life, like, he, like, he has to have, like, control over so many situations, but when he's, when he's with Starling, he gets to let all of those kind of, that need for control to be just let loose and let someone else take the lead. As I, as I wrote in one story, he may be a king, a, a king of Bog out there, but in the bedroom he's a slave. So, Starling is obviously his, uh top in this situation. So yes, Repton and Starling, my, most of my headcans, that they're in the BDSM. Um, anyway, so so yeah, Repton likes to be domed. That's his, that's his kink. <laughs> um, as for, and also I'm actually going to talk about one thing, and I need to understand this um, to any mate, like super major Korosami shippers. Um, I don't know what it is with you guys, like one, thinking that, you know, Korra being into that, into BDSM. I don't know, like, because I think, like, realistically, like, Korra would not be okay with it after everything that happened with Amon and everything, so I feel like her being tied down in any way would just kind of, like, trigger some post-traumatic stress, so I don't know. Like, does anyone else do that? Because that seems to be, like, a big thing in the, in the, uh, for the ship. I don't know how true that is, so, yeah. Someone else is like, yeah, or whatever. Let's move on. So, the uh, so let's move on to uh, to my next ship, and that is Dipper and Wendy from Gravity Falls. So, Dipper and Wendy, one of my head can my head cannon for that ship is that um, Wendy is kind of like she's in charge of the relationship. She's the one who is like the one who takes charge or whatever. But she also. Ha it's like a perfect combination of brains and brawn, where Dipper likes to explain and like you know talk about everything, and Wendy just goes out and smashes it. That same that can also be applied to my other ship, Double D and Marie Kanker from Ed and Nettie, where Double D loves to like explain everything, like he loves to like regale science to her. Like my head can is like yeah, he loves to regale all this like science stuff, and like Marie will just sit there like, mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. I've seen that before in a lot of fan fictions, and, you know, nice to know I'm not the only one who does that, of just having Marie just kind of, like, intake, just double D's, just constant vocabulary word vomit of him just talking, like, upset. Like, it could be, like, him talking about his insect collection, and Marie would just be like, mm-hmm. No, 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 go on, go on. Because, like, she just loves spending time with Double D, and so any kind of time she has with him is, like, treasured for her. So, at least in my head canons. So, next one, Pen and Sashi from Pen Zero Part-Time Hero. So, Pen and Sashi, uh, Sashi would, um, I feel like, in my head canons, Pen suffers from PTSD, from 
you know, everything that happened in the show because he's literally been through the multiverse and possibly, you know, he had the fate of the multiverse on his shoulders after finding out his parents were part-time heroes. So he's he's gone through a lot. So he's dealing with PTSD and Sashi helps him cope with it. Like she helps him cope with um, all of that. Like either through, you know, just listening to him or... I wouldn't say, like, she's keeping him on suicide watch or anything, but, like, Sashi basically, like, ha- like in my head, Ken, she's con- uh, she takes care of him because he's done so much for the multiverse, or, you know, for the multiverse, and she loves him, that she kind of helps him mentally recover. But, because she's she deals with it in her own way, and she hel- he helped her focus her anger and control it, so now, she, uh, now she's helping him, like, rebuild himself. Uh, mentally, so that's my head cannon for Sashi and Pen. Let's see who else do I have uh, head cannons for? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of like who else, um, who else I wanted to bring up real quick. Um, hmm. Oh, I guess I'll talk about one of my crossover ships, uh, Randy from Randy Cunningham Ninth Grade Ninja and Alia from Ladybug. My headcanon for uh, for them is that, again, we're going to go a little spicy here, so be prepared, is that they really like to have sex in their costumes. Like, they really love to have, like, they really they really like to play the whole Batman and Catwoman thing of, like, chasing each other through the, through a city, and then when they catch up with each other, it's fun time. So <laughs> they basically like have like a like a little fun like a little like teasing throughout the whole chase whenever either they're chase either they're chasing each other through Norrisville or Paris and when they catch up with one another there's usually fun times on the roof. So there you go. Um as for let's let's uh, let's do one more. Let's have one more. I don't want to make these videos too. I don't want to make this video too long because even I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I just thought I'd do a fun video late at night. Anyway, so hmm, what would be a nice one to leave off on? Oh, May and Zuko. So May and Zuko, my head cannon is obviously like everyone else's first off. Everyone else has the hand cannon of, oh, May and Zuko would be great parents because they would know not what not to do as parents, and you're right. Um, my, uh, my head cannon is that May... Um, May does not... Did, never put her kid down. Like, she never put um, Izumi down as a... As a as a uh, when she was a baby like she was like so scared of losing her like she had the kind of like that overprotective um maternal instinct like she never she would always like Zuko would be like all right come on let, give me the baby let's put her down for a bit but May was so like afraid she was going to be turned into her mom that she would basically be like kind of going to overdrive and protecting her and like just kind of have like those f- first time mom you, and you've probably had some in your families, I'm sure. Like, some of you guys have had, like, in your first time having family, like, you've known someone or are that someone of you were that first time parent and you were, a, you had all that anxiety and whatever and just were like, yeah, 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 give the baby back, give the baby back, it's been two minutes. Or, you know, never letting the baby out of your sight or something. Like, she, like, that's how I imagine May was that she was she became that like she didn't become like she was afraid she was gonna be like apathetic and whatever like her mom was to her but in actuality she became like really protective of of her first baby and only baby so um yeah um thought that'd be a sweet one to end up uh, end up on I know some of these were a little spicy but I was like eh I'm sure some of you guys have commented, left some spicy comments here and there. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I don't do a lot of that content. So and don't expect me to do more of these videos. I don't even know if I want to. And I don't know if I have enough ships in my fleet to make more headcanons that aren't like everyone else's. Anyway, 
So you guys tell me in the comments below, what is some of your Ked cannons for your favorite ships? Um, just comment, you can tell me any of them, you just feel free to share if you want to, I'm not going to force you, just, it's all of your own volition. Just comment below, let me know, and once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse, and I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.